gay people of the internet. I have been alluding to something happening on my FD ever since I got it. For all of those who watched before the FD, watched during the FD, and probably like even knew me way before I even started my YouTube channel, you guys would have known I wanted a single car in a single color for a very long time. And so finally after getting my dream car in the most basic spec, back in December of 2020. Today is the day that we are finally finishing off my dream car. Man, this thing is filthy. We gotta clean that up this weekend. God damn. So first of all, a few things that we're going to be doing to the skyline soon. Um, I have ordered a bunch of parts, so that way we can finally fix this thing up right here because it has had that check engine light for a while. I've tried clearing it, um, but you guys might have all known that ever since we got the Link ECU in this car, um, we took it to get tuned and everything else as well, we've been struggling with an issue that keeps coming up every now and then where um, where a temperature sensor, um, I believe it's the IAT sensor, um, the intake air temp, uh, that has been reading or uh, has been shorting or something along those lines um, to read above temp. Now when it does that, it plays around with the fueling and it decides to just dump a whole bunch of fuel. This thing turns super rich and it starts coughing and spluttering and it's just not a good time. The first time it happened was when I was driving back from my first ever drift event at uh, QR. Um, and since then, we've been plagued with this issue every couple of months. So uh, I had a chat to Whitey's Wiring. We have a new thing coming for that. We have a new IAT sensor, Link IAT sensor, and we also have a new battery for the RX-7 coming as well, so that way we can stop driving around with a lead acid battery in the interior. Even though I have the windows down, I obviously wouldn't want to have that, it's not ideal. Um, what else have we got? We got locking nuts for the wheels, so I finally have all my wheel nuts on, that's a, that's a new one. We also have a new hub for the R33 coming as well, so got a few little parts just to fix up and just service all of these cars. Um, I'm gonna do a major service on this one, I'm gonna do a major service on the RX-7, just uh, there's gonna be the month of just cleaning some stuff up starting fresh with the builds and then going from there Oh, and I got a horn for the uh, R33. It's gonna be sick. I can beep at people now One thing if you guys actually know You either would know if you're a certain type of person, but there is nothing better than cruising around It's currently 10 degrees here in, uh, in Brisbane, but there is nothing better than cruising around in winter with a jumper and a bucket seat and everything's hugging you so good. I love it. But yes, not only that, I also believe that this IAT sensor is uh, having a little bit of fun and messing around with my D-cell settings. At the moment when I used to let it sort of go low in revs, like under 2000 RPM in any gear, it would sort of like just D-cell like normal, but now it's uh, like coughing and spluttering and sometimes it actually stalls the car out, which is not fun. So yes, I'm hoping that this new IAT sensor will fix up that issue too, but I guess we'll have to find out. Right, yeah, so we made it to work, and uh, behind me we have my dream car. Well, my next dream car. <laughs> this is a beautiful Porsche GT3 RS. Um, but yeah, so we've been doing a fair amount of work to this car over the past couple of days. Um, but yeah, nowhere near as much work as what we've been doing to the RX-7 that's sitting right in front of me. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to make a few videos in black and white. Um, and you guys didn't like it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to, I don't know, I was trying something different and it didn't work. So lesson learned, next time we are not doing black and white videos. To be honest, I didn't even enjoy them. But to be honest, I didn't really enjoy them much, but I just wanted to test it out, see how we went. And uh, you guys told me that wasn't the case. So I hope this reveal makes up for it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna drag it outside because we can't have it in the workshop today because we don't have enough to finish the car. I, I didn't even let you guys know. We haven't even finished it yet. Like we have the hatch and a little bit of tidying up around the car to do. Plus we also have another end for the spoiler. But apart from that, this thing is all ready. Yeah, the whole front end's done. So, I hope you guys like it.
That is correct, guys. We have wrapped the RX-7 in a Nosatec Dandelion Yellow. This thing looks insane. Now, yes, it is not completed just yet. We still have to do the hatch. We still have to clean up some of the corners. You guys might be able to see just down the bottom of the, uh, the guards there. There's still about another day or maybe a day and a half so work into this car to make it all perfect. But um, yeah, this thing just looks incredible now. So we still have to go around all the corners um, and tidy up all those edges and put some like uh, non-air release wrap around the outside so that way none of it peels off. Um, we have kept the carbon bonnet. I want to see how it looks for a while. It looks absolutely amazing. And just the contrast between the color in like the shade and then going into the sun is insane. It just looks beautiful. So the color of the car, as I said, is a Nosatec Dandelion Yellow, however. However, it is a very deep yellow. And I'll let you guys know why I chose to go with this color over just holding out and painting it. If you guys have seen uh, the Ari Memia GT300 and GT500 RX7 race cars back in the 90s, their factory team color was like this beautiful, like orangey yellow color, and it looks amazing. Now, not only that, I'm a massive big fan of CYM Yellow, and originally I was just gonna paint the car the factory yellow however I thought that this wrap was definitely going to be a good way to figure out if I want yellow to be on the car permanently it's going to be good fun to actually learn how to wrap a car considering Brett and the team here at Empire have sort of helped me this is like my first ever wrap there's some parts of this car that I've done myself and I'm very very proud of but it is this beautiful orangey deep yellow but then in the Sun like you guys saw just before in the uh, cinematic footage you guys will have seen that it pops crazy bright yellow in the sun. So I am very extremely stoked at this thing. And as I was saying before, this is a wrap, it's not paint. But as I was saying before, a nose attack, guys, is the world's glossiest wrap. It's the only way, or the only wrap that I would ever go for a car. The yellow with the bronze wheels, and just all these little tiny carbon inserts that we've done look amazing. So there's a few little bits still left we have to do, as I said before. We still have to do the hatch. The hatch is gonna be coming up very, very soon. It's the next piece we have to do. Just gotta cut it out and do it all. And in comparison to paint, like this is my R33 paint, it looks pretty good. And this is my RX-7 wrap. Like, there is no difference in gloss between these two cars. This wrap is only as good as the paint beneath it. And the paint, honestly, was worse than this wrap. There was like, in the roof, there was like pitting and everything else as well. But as you guys can see, there is no imperfections in that roof at all. You guys can see, I actually found a small dent in the roof right there, which sucks. But we'll get that dent removed. Um, but yeah, like, for a wrap, that is absolutely insane. So I know there was guys in the comments basically saying, why would you settle on a wrap? Um, originally, I was definitely not gonna wrap this car. Up until I saw Jean's Midnight Red XR6 Turbo, um, I was completely against wraps. I always thought that they had this horrible orange peel and it just wouldn't look the same. The moment I saw Jean's car in a Nosatec, I was absolutely sold on wrap and I wanted to do it on a car at some point. I always wanted to, I've always wanted to wrap a car something interesting and um, yeah, Brett talked me into it, so. Now we have a dandelion yellow RX-7 FD. Lurking in the shadows down beside the GT3 RS, we have this right here. So these are the end caps for the wing. As you guys can see, we've done an awesome carbon fiber looking end cap with the dandelion yellow around the outside. Um, we still have all this spare, which is absolutely wicked. We still have this one here to do, but that'll be coming up very, very soon. And then I don't know where the, oh yeah, it's down here, sorry. Right beside the, uh, the race bike. You can see the wing lip we've also done in the carbon. So the carbon isn't exactly an Anosatec wrap. Um, it is actually a different wrap, but I'm not exactly quite sure what it is. And there are a few companies that do carbon fiber wrap, but this one right here is the one I have on the bonnet. It's not as like, it's not as glossy as the yellow, but it definitely looks the part. And in comparison to my carbon parts, if you stand like a meter away from my car, you don't even notice the difference between the real and the fake carbon, which <laughs> it's kind of sad, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Rightio guys, so I just came down to uh, All Star Batteries because it's just down the road from where uh, I am at the moment and I wasn't going to make this little thing and I wasn't going to do anything, but um, All Star Batteries, go and speak to Mark. Uh, he watches the videos and I just kind of came in and he was like, oh, Zach, that's you. I was, yeah, it was cool anyway. Um, 
hooked me up with a full river battery for the RX-7 and then also did a full check on the R33 because I've been having little issues here and there which haven't been fun and I've sort of noticed that um, my charging system has been a little bit weird um, uh, when the dash works because I know that sometimes it freezes because of the voltage um, it's only been showing 14 volts while cruising at idle it's been 13.6 that is not good at all so he did he so he helped me out um, just using the just using his multimeter, went down behind the alternator and uh, found out that my alternator is bad in the R33. And that is probably the reason why I've been having so many electrical issues with this car ever so recently. Um, mainly with the D-cell um, that I was talking to you guys about this morning. But yeah, a whole bunch of other little things. So we're gonna work all that out, get a new, um, get a new uh, alternator for this car as well. It's gonna be the month of cleaning stuff up. I'm so happy. And uh, yeah, but massive thank you to Mark. If you guys need anything batteries related, all star batteries. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the front of the shop anyway. So yeah, up there, all star batteries in uh, North Lakes. Absolute legend. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. Alright guys, so um, yeah, I wanted to give a quick little update just to thank a whole lot of people in this video. Um, none of this would have been possible without Brett. Brett ever so recently has just become one of these sort of like it was just one of those guys that have just helped me out immensely over the past couple of months You know, I've started work with him teaching me all of his skills and rapping and everything else as well And then not only that but people don't see the other side to just you know owning the tinting business But how many hours he puts in uh, afterwards to do that and like <clears throat> to do rapping and help out his mates and stuff like that so the fact that I've now been put in a situation where um, Brett has helped me so much and um, I could just try to tint the best I can for him has been absolutely awesome um, and for him to do the RX-7 in such an amazing colour and just give me sort of all the resources to make that achievable um, for a price that I just literally could not pass up um, I'm so happy so if any of you guys want tinting done or anything done or wrapping or anything message Brett uh, message Empire Tint and Vinyl and we will happily sort you out with anything because it can make Because it makes this stuff possible um, And also thank you to Mark at uh, at All Star Batteries in uh, Flinders in North Lakes um, Yeah, this thing has had a few little electrical gremlins as of late and the fact that Mark was able to pick up on it so quickly and um after I sort of asked him all the little sort of issues that we've been having, the fact that he just went through the car and just had a little look at uh, each individual point at where we were, that we wanted to pick up on where it should have proper voltage, it was all over the shop. So I'm going to order a new alternator for the car at the moment and hopefully that should fix up a lot of the gremlins. However, we are going to probably have to go a little bit more in depth and try and figure out what is wrong with the R33. Um, so I'll give you a list of issues that it currently has. So for one, the, uh, the digital dash, uh, the digital dash freezes whenever you see acceleration and then instant decel. That right there was the first point I picked up that the electrical system might be a little bit down. Um, also the misfires on startup, uh, the battery might, well yeah, I, if it only charges to when I'm cruising back home at 13.8 or 13.6 and I think we saw the battery it was 13.1 which is basically already discharged. Um, yeah, then we obviously could have uh, issues starting it back up. Even if the battery was still just sitting at that 13 volts who knows um, so yeah that could easily see issues um, our little bit of our misfires while cruising um, also our misfires on diesel um, the fact I have to rev it so high on engine brake so that way it doesn't stall out when I get to a set of traffic lights all those little things um, and a whole lot more so I hope new alternator can sort all that out so yes massive thank you to Mark massive thank you to Brett I hope you guys like the RX-7 there's a whole bunch more stuff to come with it we still have to finish it so yes Actually, this time it'll be in color. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you the next time. Peace. Yeah. Hey, first of all, I'm not trying to be someone I'm not. But there's plenty different ways for you to go and get your props. You don't need to try pretending living lifestyles you ain't got. That's that shit I told myself when I was low and feeling lost. Learning lessons, pay the cost while they watching you go.